Today, residents of the notorious Duroville Mobile Home Park finally heard the news they've been waiting for for months. They won't have to live in the dilapidated park for much longer. KMIR 6's Jessica Flores was with the families when they got word and joins us in studio tonight with more. Jessica. Duralville families will soon have a new place to call home. The state is freeing up millions of dollars to finish building alternative housing. Local leaders say it's been an uphill battle to get to this point. A judge ordered the park close in 2008 and residents were promised new housing. But for the past six months, the housing project stalled and state funding was in limbo. Until now. Nora Vasquez tries to make this temporary housing a home, hanging her children's art projects on the walls, but for weeks she's wondered where they'll live next. My trailer is, is um, all broken, That's, the ceiling fell out. The trailer she fled is one of dozens at Duralville Mobile Home Park, a community facing unlivable conditions only made worse by recent flooding. But it's all about to change. Assemblymember Manuel Perez shares the news. The state is releasing $10 million to finish building a new mobile home park for Duralville residents. A clear uh, victory uh, in the sense that uh, the folks here themselves advocate, advocated for themselves as well as at every level of government. Uh, many folks were involved uh, with this effort. An effort that took six months of pleading with the state after the governor dissolved redevelopment agencies where the money would have come from. There are already 41 units at this new mobile home park and now that the state funding is secured they can finally finish the project and close Duralville for good. Now we can final the park and move forward ordering more homes. We're going to move forward at an accelerated pace from trying to put in four a week to eight a week. So we anticipate build out of all the homes uh, within six months. Nora Vasquez is looking forward to calling it home. Oh, it's, it's true now. It's, it's something that, that we know that we're happy. <laughs> In the new mobile home park, Mountain View Estates has everything from a gym to a park to on-site laundry, but it's still affordable housing. In fact, it costs just about the same to live at the new park as it does for residents to live at Duralville. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jessica.